Hey guys. Okay, so we are going to be talking about serial dilutions today. And I'm going to show you up here how you can draw them out yourself. I absolutely suggest you either draw them out yourself or <clears throat> you can get a worksheet in D2L that I have posted that has uh, photos of test tubes like this. It's easy just to draw them out yourself. Okay, so as we discussed before, serial dilution is multiplication of amounts, the amounts of um, dilution all exactly the same. Okay, so we're going to do a double dilution. Remember the one to two thing that we were talking about uh, to start with, just so I can describe. I think a one to, I, I think a, like one to two is usually the easiest to explain. First thing I want to tell you guys about is the difference between the ratio and the dilution. Okay. There are two different things. The ratio is how much you are putting into the test tube and how much is already in the test tube. So the ratio is sort of like what you are going to do to this solution. The dilution is also called the dilution factor, is the mathematical amount of the actual dilution of, for example, if it's like a one to two dilution, that means that um, it gives you fractions of how much original specimen is in that tube as compared to how much, say, saline is in that too, and their fractions, okay? I'm sure that there's probably different ways to do this. If you look under serial dilutions in Google or on YouTube, there's a bazillion. I have found that this is the easiest way for me to process it. Uh, so if you find something simpler for you, by all means, as long as you understand how to do it, I don't care how you figure it out. You know, if you listen to mine or good, go someplace else. I just want you to understand. So, but here's mine. Okay. So the ratio, the ratio is how much you are adding. Okay. So you have patient serum here and you have test tubes, five test tubes. Each test tube has one milliliter of saline in it. Remember how we said that it's a serial dilution. It's the exact same for each tube. This tube doesn't have one or this one 10 or 20 or whatever. They all have the exact same thing. That's why it's called a serial dilution because they're serial, they're all the same, okay? Here's your tube of patient serum, which would be yellow top, right, gold top. So if I'm going to make a one to two dilution, okay, I'm going to add one milliliter into here. So I'm gonna add the exact same amount, okay? So if I take one milliliter, patient serum and I put it into this one milliliter, my ratio is how much I am adding to this first one to how much there is already in this tube. Okay, you can do or you say how much you're adding over how much. The thing about dilutions and ratios is, let me figure out where I am here, you can do x to y or you can do x over y. They're both the same thing. Okay. I actually kind of do both, depending on, I don't know, my mood at the time, maybe. Uh, both of them are acceptable. Sorry, I have to say that. Okay. So my ratio, how much am I adding into this? Sorry, I keep um, How much patient serum am I, am I adding to the very first tube? One milliliter, right? So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna go ratio, I'm gonna do dilution. Okay, so my ratio for tube one, there we go, okay. So for my ratio, this is my ratio, I'm adding one milliliter, and how much do I already have in there? One milliliter. My dilution is how much I am adding, and I'm adding one milliliter. 
and then how much I'm adding plus how much is already in there. So I'm adding one milliliter and there's already one milliliter in there. What's my total volume? Two milliliters, right? So my dilution is one to two. This is saying that, this is why some people write it as a fraction. This is saying that half of what is in this tube is serum and half of what is in this tube is saline. That's what the dilutions are saying to you, okay? The ratio is saying to you, I have to add one milliliter of saline or one milliliter of patient specimen into one milliliter of saline in this test tube. So the ratio again is more of a physical, you know, what you're adding to how much, okay? So we are doing a double dilution, which is a one to two dilution. Okay, so this is the easy way that I do this, okay? So I'm gonna take another milliliter. Okay, so now, um, I'm gonna take, after I put this milliliter in, then I'll have two milliliters in here as we decided, right? So now I'm gonna take one milliliter of this and I'm gonna put it in here again, okay? So in this case, our dilution um, will be, instead of there being one to two, now since I'm doubling it, I will multiply this number by two because it's a double dilution here. It's a one to two dilution. That denominator shows you what the di serial dilution is. So it's a one to two. So in a tube two now, my dilution is one to four because now I'm saying that only out of these two milliliters, only 50 milliliters, or yeah, only 50, hang on, out of these two milliliters, only a quarter of the total of these two milliliters in here is actual patient serum now, and the rest of it is saline, three quarters is saline, okay? But now this is where it gets kind of easy. To figure out your ratio for a one to four dilution, you simply use the one, and then you subtract one from four. So what's four minus one? Three. So your ratio now will be, you are adding, um, one milliliter, right? And you are adding three already, okay? So your ratio is one to three. So to get a one to four dilution, you would be adding one portion of for patient serum into three of saline to make this one to four dilution, okay? So if I keep going now and I do this again, and I put the one milliliter into the one milliliter, okay? What is two, what is two times four now? Eight. And for your ratio, what is eight minus one? Seven. So this is saying that with your dilution now, only an eighth of what is in here is actual patient serum and seven eighths is saline because you're constantly diluting it down. Okay, fourth, here I go, going into the fourth. What is two times eight? 16. So our dilution is one to 16. So what's our ratio? One, what's 16 minus one? 15. So basically now we're saying that only one sixteenth of the two milliliters that is in here now, only one sixteenth of that is actual patient serum, and the other 15 sixteenths are saline. Now we're gonna keep going on. So what's two times 16? 32. So in tube five, I'm changing one milliliter again. And we decided that two times 16 was 32. Okay, so what's our ratio? 31, 32 minus one is 31. It's always whatever the dilution numerator is, minus one. 
basically what you're saying is for you to make this dilution, you will add one unit of the patient serum to 31 units of saline, whatever unit you use, to make a one to 32 dilution. What is this is saying is, and we'll start from here. Basically, you're saying that you're adding one unit of patient serum and one unit of saline to get this dilution one to two. That makes sense, 50%, yeah? To get this dilution in this tube two, um, in order to get that ratio, you would add one unit of patient serum, one unit or three units rather of saline to get this one to four dilution, which means 25% of it is patient serum, 75% of it is saline, okay? Then the next one, you can you just keep going down and whatever your numerator is or whatever your right-hand side of this dilution is, you multiply it by the original number here. So two times four is eight, eight times two is 16, 16 times 32, or yeah, 16, 16, yeah, 16 times two is 32. What would be the next one? What's 32 times two? Will be 64. That was your dilution. And what would be your ratio? Well, 64 minus one would be, if we had a tube six, it would be one to 63, and the dilution would be one to 64. And you just keep multiplying by twos the whole way down, okay? So basically then you can see, all right, in tube four, four, okay? In order to get this dilution of 116, one to six, well, this is called one to 16 dilution, one unit is actually only so, um, yeah. <sighs> Hang on a second. Um, only one sixteenth of this in tube four is actual patient serum. And the 15 sixteenths again is saline, like we said. To make the ratio to get this dilution, you would add one unit of patient serum to 15 units of saline. Okay. So just gonna leave that there for you. And when we come back, we'll do some uh, practice problems, okay? Thanks, see ya. Let me get my thing, there it is. <laughs> see ya.